Oh. Let me get a few bites first. It's super creamy. They probably add a blend, uh. it's probably not just like beef. They probably added beef and pork, but it's super, super good. I think because they use lamb, right, it's very, very meaty. The texture of the pasta is also perfect, one, perfectly al dente. Oh, this one might be my favorite now. Okay, typically people usually ask me for a photo, yeah, but rarely somebody asks me for an autograph. And sign on a coaster, eh? that's the way. Thank you, thank you. What, what is the name? Nice to you. You work out here, eh? Yeah, pretty good, eh? Pretty good, eh? Yeah, yeah, I heard so many good, great things about this place. Yeah, I don't mind getting a picture of you. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Can I... Can I sayang him? He's on no food. Okay, good afternoon, people. Today... Today, we are at QV2 a while back. If you guys, you guys probably seen the video. It's a collab between me and Alison. We went to do like a little video about like Tesla's recommendation. And I was super excited. We came here and then they chased us out. Okay. But okay, now we came here unannounced. Lah. Then, like just a couple of weeks ago, the marketing actually reached out to me. They sent me a text. They're super nice. They say, you know, they want to welcome me back here to, to just come and eat, okay? Regardless I'm filming or not. And so many of you guys, so many of you guys requested for a video here. I want to take a look at the Google review. It's insane, uh, okay? It's like 4.8. Over 2,000, close to 3,000 reviews. And so many people say this is like the best Italian restaurant in Singapore. I am not that familiar with Italian food, okay? I might butcher the names of some of the stuff inside. The manager is here. She can educate me as I go. And hopefully, it's a fun video for you guys. Okay, let's go. Okay, I really like the interior of this place. Uh. It's very rustic, but also at the same time, it's casual dining. Uh. I'm wearing shorts today, uh, okay? My classic wear when I go to do like eating reviews of food challenge. I'm quite excited, I'm looking at the menu here. Eat a bunch of pasta, eat a bunch of uh, maybe pizza. I'm actually all about their pasta today uh, because so many of you guys said their pasta here is insane. Okay, but anyways, uh, come, let's have a seat and then... Yeah. So I've got most of the food here. We got pizza, we got pasta, we got lasagna, we've got ravioli, we got oregette, we got uh, this one is scacciata. This is some sort of Roman bread. I had it the other time, it's incredible. We're gonna start from this one. I'm, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna walk you guys through slowly. Uh, I'm just gonna start from this one. This is my favorite pasta the other day. The, this thing is just right here, I can refer straight away. Okay, this is the oregette. This is the one, it comes with pork sausage and a uh, saffron sauce. Okay, this one is incredible. Okay, their serving is one size one, uh, so it's relatively big. Uh, not a cream. Oh. Let me get a few bites first. Oh, that sauce is so rich. The saffron taste, right, is not too overwhelming also. It's a very subtle kind of saffron taste. And then the pork sausage, right? The pork sausage that's inside, right? It's not like, like chunks, ah. It's something like, it's already minced up already. Oh, super creamy, super fragrant. I haven't tried the rest of the pasta. The other day, I only tried this one. So, right now, this is my favorite. Later, we see if it changes anything. This is one of those pasta that I want to savor every bit of the sauce. Eh. I want to scrape the sauce and finish everything. Let's try the lasagna first. This one is their grandma one. Uh. 
<laughs> That's what they say here. Grandma style lasagna. This thing looks, seems very hot. It seems to be able to retain a lot of heat. Look at that. Wow. Oh. oh, I'm eating hot food today. I'm so happy. Wow. It's rich. It's super creamy. They probably add a blend. Uh. It's probably not just like beef. They probably added beef and pork. Wow, it's super, super good. Look at the smoke. Look at the smoke. It's so tomatoey. They added so much of the bechamel sauce. It's not one dimensional. You know, some, some lasagna, right? They add a bunch of like the, the bolognese, right? Now all you taste is that meaty flavor. This one very balanced. Okay, guys, I can tell you straight. Uh, this lasagna, uh, I will recommend you guys come here, eat this, and share it. Don't try to solo this thing uh, because it's, it's heavy. Uh. You try to solo, I think you get full. No, you find other things in it. This one, okay, they are, they are in-house. They make their own bolognese sauce. Uh. It's like your, your, when we go to Korean restaurant, every restaurant has their own kimchi recipe, right? This one also. Uh. Their bolognese sauce, they probably won't sell it. Because <laughs> this is like, where is that? This is the Gaganelli. Okay, I want to try this one. It looks a bit like the pinne, uh, the, but this one is a bit different. Uh. I've never had this kind of variation before. Let's try this one. It comes with a slow braised lamb ragout. Wow. I'm in love with that. Because I think because they use lamb, right? It's very, very meaty. The, the, it's a very prominent smell. One, one bite you will know it's lamb. You will not, you will not like assume that it's any other meat. The texture of the pasta is also perfect one. Perfectly al dente. Oh, but this... Oh, this one might be my favourite now. It's not chunks of meat, uh. It's like strats, uh. Very finely, thinly, like... Something like pulled pork, uh, that, kind of, that kind of texture. Oh, this is incredibly good. I'm very happy that the Ops manager is here today. Dalila. She is... Hi guys. From Italy? Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. I've never been to Italy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, today, today I'm in Italy. It's, it's good that you're here so you can educate me as I go. What's the difference between ravioli and ravioli? Ravi, okay, ravioli usually is a square shape. Oh, square shape. This is round. Oh. Ah, oh, okay, okay. It's got beef fillings and it's got uh, the masala sauce. Okay, not the Indian masala. This one is the the wine, uh, the wine sauce. Uh. Okay, I'm very excited for this. Let me try this one. Okay, usually they cut it on. I see the videos they cut it on. They're not one bite. This thing, it's not dumpling. You know, it tastes like one. Uh, it tastes a bit like a very good raw gravy with a hint of like like sweetness in there. I think the sweetness comes from the wine. Uh. It's not like some artificial. They add a bunch of sugar kind of sweetness. It comes from the wine. Oh, that fragrance is incredible. Most of their pasta, okay, in fact, all that I've tried, it's cooked perfect. It's really the al dente and like very, very nice texture. I take a break from the pasta first. I'm gonna try some of this. These are scacciata. Okay, I hope I pronounced it right. Uh, it's Roman bread. Uh. It's Roman bread. I had it the other time I was here. They actually hosted me and she said this is like, like a must try thing. So I had it. It's, oh, it's just. I will come back here just for this. The exterior is very toasty. Inside is something like a texture of a sourdough. And then I'm gonna take a bite for a second. Oh. Oh, this is a tougher one. The inside is like a texture of a sourdough. And they added a bunch of cheese. I'm not sure what sort of cheese though. It's a mascarpone cheese. Oh, mascarpone. Yeah, the creaminess Yeah. And there is also the cheese with picorino. Oh, picorino. Ah. Oh, okay. So they added two cheese, huh? One is the mascarpone, the other one is the picorino. Wow. Comes together so nicely. 
你要不要摔一个？我那是这个真的很好吃。我真的要摔哪个 ？I love cheese. You like truffle? You try. Show the camera and you try. This is their homemade tagliolini. Tagliolini? Yeah, I pronounced it right. Homemade tagliolini. I can't quite tell the difference between spaghetti and tagliolini. What's the difference? It looks quite similar. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, come on, come on. I will eat it for sure. What, what is this actually? Come on, come on. Let, let chef. This is a small, fresh, small fish from Italy. Oh. Wow, yeah, this looks good. Come on, we're gonna set this up with our food. I guess. This one actually tastes a lot healthier than the rest. No, it's not as rich as the few that I've tried. And then they added like asparagus, celery or something. Yeah, it. There's some vegetables, so you feel good. What part? This one, the umami, them strong. You can really taste the umami from the prawn, from the shrimp. Okay, let me get a good bite and show you guys. Look at my swirl, perfect swirl. I'm gonna swirl everything in one bite again. I'm gonna do the same thing again. See, everything in one bite again. I've been saying good things, eh? guys. This is not a sponsored shoot, eh, guys. They didn't, they didn't pay me to come down or something. In fact, the other time I got chased out. <laughs> Alison must be envious. I'm, I'm eating here, filming, not getting chased out. Alison, I'm very excited. We're gonna try the Liguria style swordfish. This one's chef special. Eh? Wow, I've never had swordfish that is cooked like that. This is a, a big piece of swordfish fillet, though. It's a bit cute, eh? for some odd reason. And it's not bad, this fish. If you eat it on its own, the texture is something like sardine. But a bit more flavour. Eh? Call it a green sauce, which is salsa for a day. Eh? Go for a risotto first. Okay, I trust the Leela. Do we eat it using a frog or. Always frog. Always frog. Use spoon for a soup. You're eat it with a frog. Eh? Don't come here and ask for a spoon. Eh? You only use spoon for soup. They probably add, a, add some sort of cheese that I've never tasted before. What, what, what's, what's the cheese inside? It's called Castelmagno. Oh, Castelmagno. Okay, you see the name I know I've never tasted before. Eh? Oh, I like the risotto. It's extremely grainy. You know the li li firming kind of texture? Every single grain is coated so nicely. Not easy. Eh? If, I, if, I, if I'm at home, I cook risotto. Right? Probably the whole pot cannot eat. Eh? They even added like hazelnut on top. Which gives it a very nice texture. Wow. Okay, uh, they're gonna heat up my pizza for a little bit. Which is very good, uh, I need that. Okay, come. Thank you, yeah, thank you very much. They do have vegetarian options as well. Uh, Hayley, I'm looking at you. Good or not, I don't know, but they do have vegetarian options as well. Uh. Oh, I felt good. Vegetarian menu. Oh wow, they have a menu just for vegetarians. Yes, what about other? The first one is uh, ham and mushrooms. Ham and mushrooms. Then we have a tomato base and veggies. Okay. Vegetarian. Okay. Margarita. Margarita. Uh, pepperoni. pepperoni. And mortadella is a pork cold cut. Pork cold cut with pistachio. So it's a bit sweet. Uh. Okay. You heard her, uh, guys. Halfway through, I, I, I might forget the flavors, but. Let me start with this. Mushroom and ham. Okay, I think it is. The pizza is so airy though. Crispy on the outside, very airy on the inside. When I look at this kind of pizza, I'll be afraid. Is it gonna be too tough? Is it gonna be too dense? Is it gonna cut the roof of my mouth? But this one, uh, no. Uh, even though it looks a bit like, you know, crunchy, crunchy, right? The inside is super soft though. Well, you guys, uh, Recommendation all solid one. Thank you, thank you very much. 
You want some pizza? Come and grab a slice, eh? Come and grab a slice. No disrespect, uh, this is okay. Uh. I know because I, I seen Travel James, Food Ranger, I saw his video, I, I think two weeks ago. He went to like Italy or something. They actually fold the pizza together and eat it because it's like very big slice. I'm folding it because I don't want the toppings to drop. Uh. Oh, but good, the pizza is solid. Pepperoni. Why? Yeah, pepperoni tastes different. Eh? A little bit spicy and eh? a bit tangy. Eh? You know, normal pepperoni don't have this kind of. This one tastes more cured. It tastes like authentic Italian pepperoni, like the, the proper ones, you know, not the sopalang one, you know. This is margarita, eh? Okay, the glow classic, ah. Huh? That marinara sauce is so, so robust. I'm pretty sure they use some sort of different tomatoes to do, to do it. It's so robust, it's so herby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. In Italian, grazie. 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 It means thank you, is it? Yeah, no, okay. prego. I like this too. This one is good. This one, uh, not really my liking, uh, but the rest is all quite good. Oh, so it's okay to burn? No, it's not. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you one thing, you can do it. <laughs> With the amount, she gives the green light yeah. to you. <laughs> oh, oh, nah. Oh, God. Solid. Yeah. I, I like the pasta more than the pizza. Yeah. You can. Can, look at that. You want to help me? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is your chef. Uh. He's the one behind all the creations. Uh. What is the name again, chef? Mauro. Mauro. Hope yeah. I pronounced it right. Yeah. Are, are you Italian as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pure Italian. Yeah. Pure Italian. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Garcia, Garcia. But the vegetarian pizza is good though. A bit sour, one, right? a bit sour. It's not like 100% like savory. I think the capers and the olives. Very good. Right, okay, last bite, last bite. Wow. It took me a while though. Oh, no. Maybe I'll order dessert, but we'll see how. Italian restaurant, you must add it all with your meat too. Eh? I'm quite, quite full already. Eh? But we're just gonna get a bite in and then do an outro while eating this. Oh, eh? Not bad, it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. That's what the Asians always say. When they eat the uh, dessert, right? <laughs> the definition of a good dessert is not too sweet. But this one is just solid. The lady's finger, right, is really... The taste of the coffee is super prominent. Then I think they coated it with pistachio on top. There is no alcohol in this or so. Okay, among all the dishes, right, most of the pasta dishes were really, really good, okay? There is not one dish that I... I don't like or, or like underwhelming or anything. Most of their dishes are, are pretty amazing. Uh, pizza wise, okay, I'll be very honest, I enjoy the pasta a lot more than the pizza. pizza I'm not saying the pizza is bad, uh, but the pizza is good as well. But if I come here, I will really spam the pasta than pizza. Uh. I thank you guys for the recommendation again. Uh, big thank you to you guys. Most of my recommendations to my viewers, right, usually is all heat, right? No misses, right? I will probably be coming back here again to try some of their other, like their mains. Uh. Today I didn't get to try their mains. I want to try their grilled octopus and the braised beef. This too, I heard it's very, very good as well. Okay, but anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I wouldn't say this is like a, like a full bone challenge. Uh. This is not, definitely not those 8kg kind of challenge. Pretty relaxed, uh, very, very enjoyable for sure. Uh, towards the end, there was a bit of a struggle because the pizza was pretty dense. But uh, all in all, very good food. I enjoy uh, this entire experience here. Big thank you to this restaurant, uh, IO Osteria Italian restaurant, uh, for, for allowing me to film here, uh, okay? <laughs> Previously, we really cannot film, but I'm very happy they allow me to film here today. Okay, that's it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Do let me know down in the comments below if you guys got any more restaurants that you guys want me to visit and enjoy. And uh, if you guys come here, I right, do tag me as well. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.
Okay, typically people usually ask me for photo, yeah, photo, because the phones can take photo these days. But rarely somebody asks me for an autograph. And sign on a coaster, that's the way. Thank you. Yeah. I'll see what I'll do with the